like you know what he's going to say. <laughs> Alright, go, go ahead and say it. Because it's not technically a, a Yeezy. <gasps> Fair to say you guys are both sneaker experts. You run a, is it a store called Sneakertopia? Sneakertopia is a museum. Uh, it launched in Los Angeles in 2019. Over 35 different artists, over half a million dollars worth of sneakers. You guys are a father and son duo. Yes, I was working on a show concept in the sneaker space and uh, wrangled Zach in to uh, help bring this museum to life. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna show you guys a few rankings. These rankings are all based around sneakers. They were voted on by the public, and we're gonna see if you guys think the public nailed these lists or if they need a bit of a re-rank. Okay. This is a ranking of the greatest Air Jordans ever made. Yep. Starting with number one is Jordan 1, as ranked by public. Jordan 4, and then coming in third is Jordan 11, Jordan 5, and then at fifth is Jordan 6. And the number six spot is the uh, Air Jordan 3, Air Jordan 13, Air Jordan 12. Number nine is the Air Jordan 7. And at the number 10 spot is the Air Jordan 8. Which oh is gosh. funny because they got uh, they got one and two, one and four, which is uh, our I'm number one and you number you like the four. Our, our rock four is like basically every single day. Yeah, I think the list is. Uh, I'm not mad at, at the elevens bumping the nines from the top ten. So number one, what are you guys putting number one on the list? Got to do the original AJ one. No, thank you. <laughs> it's it, it's too it's too popular. The one is what built the empire. All right, so let's go down to number two. What are you guys thinking? You want to put there? Zach's a huge fan of the of the fours. A lot of the celebrity collabs that both of us really liked, the Wahlburgers or the those M and M's, those were all fours. It's a superior model. I don't know if it's yeah just been burned into my psyche, or I don't know. I, really, I just really like fours. Is there one that you're like that should be at the bottom? And keep in mind, we're not saying this is the worst Jordan ever. It's just the bottom of the ten. Ooh, I was thinking like sixes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I personally like eights more than sixes. Like aqua eights are, are in my top twenty shoes. So we're putting the six at ten. Yeah, I mean six to ten. My twos aren't there. I was about to say I, I'm not surprised the twos are not. Okay, so then let's go back to the list. What what are you putting at three? So put eleven to number three and three to four. Good job, public. What are you wanting to put at nine now? What are you wanting to put closer to the bottom of this list? So Fresh Prince of Bel Air was influential on me. So nines, he was rocking nines. Like he basically premiered those. I'm gonna put the nines at nine. Nines at nine. They're not on there. Yeah, no nines. Yeah, when it comes down to it, I'm gonna accept the twelves. So why are you taking the twelves out? I like twelves. Twelves were my first Jordan. It's a clunky shoe. It's built like a tank. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing. I would go seven. Five. Okay. Five? I would put the uh, the uh, Air Jordan 8 at the number 5. I think the 5 has done a better job, so I'd go 5. And then 13. All right, so let's take a look at this list. Is this list locked? Yes, this list is locked. Is this locked? This is locked. Lock it down. All right. It's locked. You guys have done the, the Air Jordan rankings. We're going to rank Yeezys now. Okay. But I respect admire so much about Yeezys is when you say Yeezys, it can be a bait. It can be a Louis Vuitton, it can be a Nike, and it can be Adidas. So Yeezys in general, though, are, are, uh, are of high regard within the sneaker world. So for you guys, is there, what's number one for you just off the bat? Is there one that you're like, that is for sure the one that I like? Doesn't even have to be on this list. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I already know what he's going to say. <laughs> All right, go, go ahead and say it. The patchwork, Jasper, Louis Vuitton, Jasper. In the aftermarket on the now dead stock, and dead stock means never worn, is upwards of like 12 to 15 grand. Wow. It's crazy. Uh, they didn't even like sell out initially. They sat around in Louis Vuitton stores for months. If we're going to put this one in, what one are you guys taking out completely? <laughs> Almost every one of those 350s. If we were putting the list together, it, it, this, is, this is very debatable. I would actually add the Calabasas on there. Where do you want to put it? Uh, like maybe around number eight or nine. I would definitely put the Blinks in there. Probably like a number six or seven spot. Uh, six. Blink? Yeah, easy one. What would I'll, you? I'll put the Bapes at two. Do any of these 10 make anything on the list here for you guys? The Red Octobers. Red Octobers, definitely. Where, where are you going to put the Red Octobers? Do any of the Yeezy Boosts 
colors make it anywhere on the list for you guys? Um, I'll put car blacks uh, at like 10. Um, uh, four, I'll put net slash net. Easy one. Yeah. What would the ones be that the, that the rare guys had? The prototypes, what would those be? Uh, only one pair were made, was made. It's the prototypes that he wore stage at the Grammys. They sold at Sotheby's about a year ago for $2 billion. So it's the most expensive pair of sneakers in the world. I would put it at number one and put the patchwork at number two. What was the most expensive pair of sneakers in the world? What's it called? Glow in the dark for easy sample. For six, the red Louis Vuitton dog. Because it set it set a precedent. It, it low key set the precedent for the rare. So all right, one more slot. What what easy be putting in eight? I, I did see boots on the list. Boots were like number sixty on the on your list. It's, uh, it's NSLTD. I don't know, it's supposed to be like insulated or insulted. So this is the new list, completely different than uh, the public's list. Is this list locked? Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Still public list locked. Check those Yeezys out. You'll be happily... Yeah. yeah, no, I mean, that's what the show is all about. I mean, it's to get people in here who really know their stuff. You guys have re-ranked two lists for us now. What I want you to do now is I want you guys to put together your top five favorite sneakers of all time. And I want you guys to work together to put this one together. Oof. I would definitely put the uh, the airbags on there. You, what would you put on there? I would say the Soul Collector Vegas Dunk. I mean, cowboy. Actually, I think it's Cowboy. Um, it's a it's a Nike Dunk, but Soul Collector, which was a it was a magazine that got bought by like Complex, and they had an event in Vegas in like two thousand and like five or six, and were able to get their own shoes actually made by Nike. You side off of this, I would suggest the uh, Versace wow. chain reactions. Why do you, why, why for you? Before that, Versace sneakers were just, just gaudy for no reason. So you have a dunk, you have a luxury sneaker, you have a hugely influential media sneaker, the Chicago Jordan wow. 1. You can't go wrong with the Chicago Jordan 1. God, there's so much Nike. I want to just say Air Force One. Uh, Chuck Taylor All-Star. Classic, a reason why we're even all here. Does this order look good to you? I'll put maybe maybe the chain reaction at five. <laughs> I'll put the All-Star and the one at one and two. Air Mags, three? List locked? List locked. All right. <laughs> all right. Thanks for watching this episode of Rerank. Check us out on social media on Instagram at GhostSneakerTopia. Also, our other handle, Sneakertopia Asia. Peace, love, and sneakers.